रिमोट सेंसिसिंग रिमोट सेंसिस इज इन एन इम्पोर्टेंट टूल इन इन्वायरमेंटल फिजिक्स डेट यूज इज सेंसर्स टू कलेक्ट डेटा फ्राम डिस्टेंस रिमोट सेंसिसिंग कैन बी यूज टू स्टडी वेरियस इन्वायरमेंटल फिनोमिना इंक्लूडिंग क्लाइमेट चेंज लैंड यूज चेंज ओशनोग्राफी एंड एटमोसफेरिक फिजिक्स द डेटा कलेक्टेड थ्रो रिमोट सेंसिसिंग कैन बी यूज टू जनरेट मैप्स मॉडल्स एंड अदर प्रोडक्ट्स दैट कैन बी यूज टू मोनीचर एंड मैनेज नेचुरल रिसोर्स रिमोट सेंसिसिंग कैन बी कंडक्टेड यूजिंग वेरियस टेक्नोलॉजीज इंक्लूडिंग सेटेलाइट्स एयरप्लेन्स एंड ड्रोन्स रिमोट सेटेलाइट रिमोट सेंसिसिंग इज पर्टिकुलरली यूजफुल फॉर स्टडिंग लार्ज एरियाज एंड लॉन्ग टर्म इन्वायरमेंटल चेंजेस सेटेलाइट्स कैन प्रोवाइड हाई रेजोलेशन इमेज ऑफ द अर्थ सर्फेस एंड कैन ऑल्सो कलेक्ट डेटा ऑन टेम्परेचर प्रसिपिटेशन एंड अदर इन्वायरमेंटल वेरिएबल्स एयर बॉर्न रिमोट सेंसिंग कैन प्रोवाइड इवन हाई रेजोलेशन इमेज एंड कैन बी यूज टू स्टडी स्मॉलर एरियाज इन ग्रेटर डिटेल Drones are a relatively new technology that can be used for local scale studies and can be equipped with various sensors including cameras thermal sensors and lidar Remote sensing can be analyzed using various techniques including image processing machine learning and geographic information system GIS image processing techniques can be used to extract information from remote sensing images such as vegetation cover land use and water quality machine learning techniques can be used to identify patterns in remote sensing data and can be used to predict future environmental changes GIS can be used to combine remote sensing data with other spatial data such as land use maps or topographic maps to generate more detailed and accurate models of environmental processes remote sensing has numerous application in environmental physics Number 1 monitoring land use change remote sensing can be used to monitor changes in land use such as deforestation urbanization and agriculture expansion this information can be used to develop land use policies and conservation strategies mapping biodiversity number 2 remote sensing by map number 2 mapping biodiversity Remote sensing can be used to map biodiversity by identifying areas of high plant species richness or habitat diversity this information can be used to prioritize conservation efforts and to monitor the impacts of climate change on biodiversity number 3 monitoring water resources Remote sensing can be used to monitor water quality, water quantity and changes in water resources over time. This information can be used to develop water management plans and to monitor the impact of climate change on water resources. Number 4 studying climate change remote sensing can be used to study the impacts of climate change on the earth's surface such as changes in temperature precipitation and vegetation cover this information can be used to develop climate change mitigation adaptation strategies number 5 disaster management remote sensing can be used to monitor natural disasters such as flood wildfire and hurricanes this information can be used to develop disaster response plans and to assess the impact of natural disasters on the environment in summary remote sensing is an important tool in environmental physics that uses sensors to collect data from distance remote sensing can be used to study various environmental phenomena and has numerous applications in environmental management and conservation remote sensing can be analyzed using various techniques including image processing machine learning and gis to generate detailed and accurate models of environmental processes